mabuhay or in kapampangan, luwid kayo. Today's question comes all the way from Thailand. Kairos from Thailand asks, Hello, Mr. Kirby. Sino si Lapu-Lapu? Who was Lapu-Lapu? If you ask Filipinos today, Lapu-Lapu is credited for killing Ferdinand Magellan in the Battle of Mactan back in 1521. The story goes like this. Lapu-Lapu was the ruler or the datu of the island of Mactan and Mactan was located next to the bigger and perhaps more powerful island and state of Cebu ruled by his relative Raja Humabon. And the story goes that Humabon or Raja Humabon and his city of Cebu welcomed and befriended the Spanish conquistadors or the Spanish explorers led by Ferdinand Magellan. While on the other hand, Lapu-Lapu was fuming with anger against the foreign invaders. And if you ask Filipinos today, they would say that Lapu-Lapu was the first hero to fight for Philippine independence. While Lapu-Lapu did in fact fight foreign invaders or led the fight against foreign invaders in the Battle of Mactan back in 1521, he did not fight for Philippine independence. Because back then in 1521, there was no Philippines yet. The idea or the Philippines that we now know today did not yet exist back in 1521. Back then, the archipelago was a collection of diverse people and it still is today. There were different nationalities, different ethnicities, independent states that are interconnected but not necessarily one nation state that we know of today. And Lapu-Lapu's heroism was fighting for the independence and the freedom of his people. Not necessarily the Filipino people because there was no Filipino people yet but for the freedom and independence of his people, the people of Mactan in the Visayas region in what is now Central Philippines. And over the centuries, Lapu-Lapu is always depicted as this young, handsome, very fit, muscular warrior as opposed to the much older Ferdinand Magellan and Raja Humabon. But the thing is, we can never be sure of what his age was during the Battle of Mactan or what he actually looked like. Some sources actually say that during the battle, Lapu-Lapu was actually around the age of 70. So pretty much as old as Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte who is now around 72 years old. Renowned Filipino historians such as Ambeto Campo also agree that Lapu-Lapu or Lapu-Lapu's appearance was more like Raja Humabon's who during this battle was described as short, stout, and old. So yeah, he did not look like that one fitness model you follow on your social media or the statues that we see today with all his six-pack abs and biceps and triceps and chest. Now back to April 27, 1521 during the Battle of Mactan. Legend has it that Lapu-Lapu and his forces defeated the more powerful Spanish invaders despite having all the odds stacked against them. Now this happened over 500 years ago. So again, we can never really be sure of what exactly happened. But what we now know based on surviving records was that the tides was quite literally on the side of Lapu-Lapu. The conquistadors also refused aid and help from the native allies. Raja Humabon and his forces were just left watching the entire battle from a distance on another island because the Spanish forces thought that they could defeat this weaker native forces. But if you look at the numbers, there were actually only 57 Spanish conquistadors or Spanish invaders against over a thousand warriors of Mactan. And so the Spaniards were easily defeated by the warriors of Mactan led by Atu Lapu-Lapu. And newer discoveries also point towards Lapu-Lapu's involvement with piracy and his uneasy and sour relationship with Raja Humabon whose wife was actually Lapu-Lapu's sister or niece. And these first-hand accounts tells us that Lapu-Lapu was also open to the idea of Spanish supremacy over Mactan. The only problem was that Lapu-Lapu refused to recognize Raja Humabon's supremacy above him. Because in the eyes of the Spaniards, Raja Humabon is the leader of a bigger island, Lapu-Lapu was the leader of this smaller island. So therefore, Raja Humabon is higher than Lapu-Lapu. But Lapu-Lapu refused to recognize this. So yeah, according to these sources, Lapu-Lapu Lapu was probably more angry at the Spaniards because they chose Humabon as a superior leader over him, not necessarily against foreign domination. I know, it's pretty complicated and even his own name to this day remains controversial. While many of us call him Lapu-Lapu, he was also called by many names throughout history such as Si Lapu-Lapu or Lapu-Lapu de Mantag or Kalipulaco and many others. And no, we do not know for sure if he was actually the one who killed Ferdinand Magellan in the Battle of Mactan. I mean, some historical sources also say that he actually wasn't even in the battle. That he was just commanding from a distance, not actually fighting the battle. Yes, it gets more complicated. And there is so much more to learn about Lapu-Lapu and what happened on the island of Mactan back in 1521. And that is it for me today. If you got questions about history, politics, geography, culture, current events, or whatnot, feel free to ask me. Feel free to ask Kirby. See you next time. Or in Tagalog, kita kids. And in Kamampangan, me kitiks. Bye!